Okay, welcome to another Show Me with Mr. Oliver. Uh, today we're going to look at how we can double and half numbers. Okay, let's take a simple example. Uh, let's look at a number like double four. Okay, so we've got a number four, which we can represent with counters like this. And if we double it, it means having the same amount again, so that's another four. So four and four equals eight. Really easy to do. When the numbers get a little bit larger, so numbers like double six, the way to see that is if you double five, that will give you ten. And if you double the other one out of each five, that will give you another two. So double six is like doing ten and two, which equals twelve. What about larger numbers like 30? Well, double 30, you've just got to think of tens. So if you've got three tens and you double it, same principle, you have the same amount again. So that's another three tens. That gives you six tens, which equals 60. Okay, let's look at a two digit number then. Double 24. You can see the number 24 at the top. That's two tens and four ones, and then you double it, so you have another two tens, and a number of four ones. So the easiest way to double 24 is to think of double 20 as 40, and double four as eight, giving you the answer 48. Halving numbers means that you look at the number that you've got and you uh, keep half. That's one out of every two. Half is one out of every two. So if you line them up in piles of two for a half, you can see that the red one is one out of the first two. The second red here is one out of that two. So that's your first two, and you get to keep the red one. That's your second two, you get to keep the red one. That's your third two, you get to keep the red one. So what you actually keep is those three there. So half of six equals three. Half of 14, you can see I've used different colors. So I've used blue um, on the top and red on the bottom. You can see that I've split them into five and two for seven, and a, uh, which is blue, and then a five and a two, which is seven red ones. So you can see that I can see quite easily what half 14 would look like. So half of 14 would be, should we take this half for this time? Uh, so that's 5 and 2. So half of 14 equals 7. And you can check again and do the inverse. So 7 and 7 does that equal 14. If you double 7, you should get back to 14. So the opposite of halving is doubling. Okay, what about larger numbers? A half of 46. Well, I've set up my tens there in piles um, of two tens, and the six I've just kind of left as it is just to show you. So half of 46 means half of the tens and half of the six ones. So you can see there, there's one half. Let's just change that color. And there's another half. But straight away you can see that half of 46 equals 20 and 3. So half of 46 is 23. This works really well if both digits are even numbers. Um, when the digits are odd numbers it can create uh, a different challenge. Okay, so here's some questions for you to try. Can you double 8, 21, 34 and 46? And here's some more challenge questions for you. Can you halve these numbers? 12, 26, 44, and 56. Okay, and what about numbers like 32? That's a little bit harder uh, in the sense that one of the digits is an odd number. What, what you would do for an odd number like this is you would actually look at it not as 32, but 20 and 12. Because 20 is easier to half, and so is 12. So as you can see, here's our 20. Here's our 12. 
and we just have to think what's half of 20? 10. What's half of 12? 6. So half of 32 is 10 and 6, which equals 16. And 16 and 16 makes 32. So that's our check to make sure we've got it right. I hope that helps and I wish you luck. Okay, thank you very much.